Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Candy Corpse, you can call me Kay, and today we are going to be reading some more confessions. <laughs> adult in quotes I think you kind of know what it's talking about along the roadside there were media reports about it the next day hi I bought my adult doll xxx toy a couple of years ago and hid it in the hunting room away from my wife last year I decided to throw away the doll because it felt completely wrong to use it in secret for my wife decided to get rid of the doll somewhere out in nature Okay, there isn't room in the normal bin and it's embarrassing to take it to the landfill. Okay, but like, <laughs> I feel like this is, this is like, I don't think this is where this is going because of the title, but it kind of sounds like it's leaning towards like, someone saw like a leg or an arm sticking out and called the police and it was your fucking sex doll. I had a spade, this, where are you from? <laughs> Not the United States, I don't think if you're calling it a spade. I had a spade to dig it into the forest drove off but suddenly had bad timing and panicked and ended up throwing it on the side of the road <laughs> girl trigonomic as it all was i ended up with the doll being found by people the next day obviously you threw it on the side of the road someone who was on their way to work got a little shock it made the headlines in the local newspaper some regional and one national newspaper the um, DD was never traced back to me. And then there's proof. T. I can't believe they put the proof. That's insane. It's in Norway. <laughs> it happened in Norway. Google's like, do you want to translate from Norwegian to English? I do. Okay, it won't translate, but I think I just accepted something. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put the picture up, but... I was right this does look like a fucking crime and it's literally a doll that's crazy i want to see what the comments say yeah literally they were like imagine if the police caught you like it looks like you just have a corpse but that's literally that's what they're all saying and i agree because like what would you like oh sorry i'm burying my doll because i'm embarrassed well okay i'm sure the police also don't want you littering so like i don't know how strict the laws are in norway but i know other countries have really strict laws against like littering and stuff you probably shouldn't be doing that either i used a german flag passed down to me by my roommate for nasty stuff it's giving holocaust sympathizer and i don't really know if i want to read that one let's go for it me 17m at the time had a roommate 18m from germany he really loved his country and i spent an amazing year with him at our boarding school he graduated the year before me and passed down his german flag to me sound like more than roommates and told me that I'm an honorary German. I felt so proud and really appreciated that he did that for me. However, three months ago, I was, you know, and ran out of tissues. And guess what? The German flag was the closest thing to a tissue around me. I don't know, I was too lazy to get out of bed and find something else. Huh? Maybe that's enough confessions for today. I did this to myself and I'm already disgusted. Ooh, tea. I caused a girl to get glasses for the rest of her life. I wanna, I wanna read this one. I feel so guilty. It was an accident, but I still feel guilt. You probably should. Let's see, let's see. Maybe it's like not that serious. In grade one or two, it was winter and recess. I told a girl to go down the tallest slide on her knees because it was fun for me and she did, but right at the bottom, she twisted or lost her balance or something and ended up smashing her face off the slide. When she got up, she had her hand over her eye and it was bleeding above the eyebrow. Didn't seem too bad, but I was a kid, so I didn't know. She went home at break and when she came to school the next day, she ended up having to get stitches and glasses. I'm almost certain she wore glasses for the whole year. I changed schools the year after but I feel like she needs them permanently. What guilts me more aside from the fact that she needed stitches and glasses, all because I told her to go down the slide in a dangerous way. All that I actually cared about was if I was going to get in trouble for her getting hurt. So you're just assuming she needed glasses for the rest of her life. Um, but no, it that 
that is kind of crazy the top comment is li literally says they she got an eye test at the time of the stitches and probably just needed them anyway to be honest i burned through thirty thousand dollars and i have nothing to show for it it was stock investments that was meant to be used for college, but I never went to school and fell into a deep depression for years where I essentially just used it to pay rent and survive. Absolutely no reason and absolutely nothing to show for it. I'm in a better place now and the money would be life-changing. Down payment on a house, new car, whatever, but nothing. Edit since people are asking. It was over a course of five to six years. I have no debt and I had a job then I um, and I have a good paying job now. So, I mean, honestly, that's not like a terrible thing. That's a good thing to have. Like if you're struggling like with your mental health, that can affect you physically. So I don't think that's like, I understand like feeling that kind of remorse, like, man, I wish I had saved it. But if you needed it because you were like struggling and your mental health was having an effect on your ability to work and provide for yourself, having that safety net, although now wishing you could use it, is still like a good thing that you had it at the time because some people don't have that safety net and you know the situation honestly could have ended up much worse and could have made his mental health worse i told people that i had cancer in sixth grade i got bullied really bad in sixth grade because i was very vocal about my love for anime real and everyone thought it was weird this was in 2014 yeah so that makes sense so when I found out I was moving schools, I told my best friends to help me out with telling people I had cancer to make people feel bad for bullying me. She was practically my only friend, so no one would know if I was lying or not because no one really knew me like that. We started telling people and when I moved schools, I had her tell them that I died. She told me that this one girl started crying when she told her I died. Don't know if she ever told the truth to them, but she hates me now, so I'll never know. Girl. <laughs> yeah i mean you did like in sixth grade at your like grown age not like grown but like you know better and you still lied about cancer like that's kind of like a serious thing said yes i'm prepared for the future cancer karma that will bring me uh this i just want to put this here i feel pretty messed up about it probably should have made a throwaway account for this because people are gonna think i'm really messed up in the head you didn't use a throwaway <laughs> you are bald people who use people who use their real name on their accounts and then post stuff like this i don't think you feel bad i don't think you give a fuck because you put a laughing emoji in there i don't think you actually care to be honest i told people i was mute and avoided conversation honestly i get it some people are just fucking annoying and you don't want to talk to them i get it i tried to put my arm on my colleague's shoulder multiple times ew that's just, I'm not even going to read that because even if it's not anything like inappropriate, like the way it's worded, that just shows it's probably a female. Yep, I just skimmed it. Um, a man trying to be super friendly with his co-worker, putting his arm around her and she obviously was not interested. Like that's just fucking gross. Like get a hint. Also, it's work. Like don't be inappropriate like that. When I was eight or nine, I charged several thousand dollars for my grandparents, whom I live with. Okay, but like, what do you mean? To this day, they don't know it was me. When I was very young, I was extremely addicted to Roblox. Girl, it's always Roblox. It's either, it's either Roblox or it's Fortnite. Like, it's always one or the other. I committed a hit and run, but I didn't do the hitting, just the running. Hello? <laughs> I'm so confused. I didn't do the hitting. They hit me. I was turning left. They were turning right. I was already turned in the intersection by the time they hit their turn. They ended up hitting my car. I ran out of fear and adrenaline. I was scared of a ticket in case I was found in the wrong or whatever you want to call it. I ran and I still haven't been caught. This happened about three months ago. I'm scared of getting caught. I don't know. Opinions. I have absolutely no damage to my car. The body of their car hit my wheels that are sticking out since I have wide wheels. My best friend and counselor says that if it was a bigger deal than I'm making it out to be, the cops would have made a been on the lookout or pulled security cameras that night type of thing. Um, but something would have come of the situation. So yeah, I 
So you didn't commit a hit and run, brother. That's not how that works. The top comment literally says they probably didn't even report it because they knew that they were in the wrong. Another comment says that um, when they were involved in a hit and run, they did catch the person's license plate and they told the police, but nothing even happened until six months later. So one person's like, you'll be fine. And the other person's like, give it another couple months. So, so I guess we'll find out in three months. Update, I'm in jail. <laughs> popped a tire so she wouldn't drive home drunk and pretended it must have been an accident okay so like saving lives uh it says i'm not proud of this but my drunken brain couldn't think of a better uh solution on the spot so i'm at the vfw with my dad and sister drinking with my dad he gets pretty drunk and i asked him when he wanted to get going and he said he'll be good in an hour to drive and that he wanted us my sister and me to follow him my sister is the designated driver because she doesn't drink she whispers that she's worried he we won't be good in an hour so we asked dad to just take a ride with us since my sister lives with my parents we're all just going back to the house i tell him to wait in the car and we'll pick it up tomorrow he refuses says he'll be fine um and then basically there's so many more paragraphs but basically um trying to convince him not to drive can't convince him so it sounds like he pops his tires but I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Drunk people can be very unreasonable. Ask me how I know. I lie so much without noticing and I forget what I said. Girl, I met so many people like that, to be honest. Always something, I know people like that. It's kind of frustrating to be honest, to be the other person. But like when you know, you're just like, I can't take what you say seriously. I would be livid if this happened to me. When I was 13, I spit on a stranger's head from the third floor of a mall. You're done. I would be freaking the fuck out if someone spit on me. I was being dumb and I guess my intrusive thoughts won that day. I was peering over the balcony and I saw a lady sitting down. I was thinking there's no way my spit could hit her from here. Out went the spit and it fell right on her head. I felt so bad, but I ducked as soon as she flinched. Yeah, yeah, I would have been screaming if that happened to me. But if I, if someone spit on me, we're fighting like no that's fucking gross i gave a seventh grader a miscarriage by kicking her in the stomach <gasps> what this happened in eighth grade and the girl is in seventh i just turned 14 she was 13 not gonna lie she was fine and me and my homie would walk her home and her little brothers after school one day her and i were play fighting and she got a bit unfair and she said that i couldn't throw punches or kicks but she could do it because she's a girl and she was scared. She punches hard as shit though. And she was really close to just throwing haymakers. Not wanting to punch back, I need her in the stomach. Not that hard, but hard enough for her to back up a bit. She said something like, stop boy, you're gonna kill my baby. <laughs> what? No, actually I say that. Like I say that like I'm surprised cause I am surprised. It's always surprising, but like I, I remember being in school and literally being in middle school and there's like middle schoolers and high schoolers who are pregnant like so i actually do like but that doesn't mean it's not fucking crazy now reasonably i thought she was joking because what seventh grader was catching to real anyway the next day i got around to doing it again she said the same thing and i began to take her a bit more seriously but i didn't want to because you know a seventh grader pregnant no way <laughs> then a couple of days later she told me she had a miscarriage and i was in shock i asked three of her three of her friends and she all confirmed she was pregnant i was mortified i still didn't know if i wanted to trust that but it may have just been the blood on my hands update when i say go to do it again i just mean that i went up to her and kicked her i mean we were play fighting she gave the same silly rules and i need her again for those who think that little school, middle schooler me was a psychopath woman beater. No. I stole $9 off of someone's prepaid gas and lied about it when I was asked. Girl, when I find you. No, but like I work at a gas station and stuff like that doesn't happen very often, but it can happen. I started a theft ring at my work as a teenager for over five years. Not actually a theft ring, but I don't really know how to describe it. Accepted bribes to commit theft for others. I worked in food and beverage as a cashier in a very small restaurant slash cafe type setting. Um, said it was just me, a cook, and a couple other cashiers rotating work days. Uh, managers rarely came to the location unless we called them or they were really bored. 
and we only served a very specific crowd, so it was the same people every day. One day, a regular customer came up to me and ordered and said he didn't have the money on him, but asked if we could start a tab on paper for IOUs. I said, sure. Eventually, he just kept adding things to the tab and said he'd pay it off when the number was a little bigger. One day, when nobody was in the restaurant, he said to me that he would pay me directly a percentage of his tab and that that I would just make it disappear. So when his tab was over $100, he would give me like 40 to 60 and I would just rip up his bill like nothing happened. I never once put any of his food into the system, just wrote it down on a loose leaf sheet of paper and kept it under the drawer. Other cashiers could add things to his tab, but could not cash it out. When the other cashiers would ask about where the tab went, I would tell them that he paid it off and I'd print out a fake receipt showing that he paid and they believed me. I told them only I could cash out his tab since I was the stand-in captain a couple more regulars caught on and did this for well it was only for regulars i trusted eventually after the years went on i got more comfortable and would lie to the regulars and say their tab was higher just to get a little more money i would say 200 instead of 150 girl that's not a little bit that's 50 dollars i mean as a 15 to 18 year old getting a 40 to 80 dollar pocket cash here and there was the best thing i actually saved enough from the theft and working wages and tips to buy my first car. Now I work for a million to billion dollar company. I'm glad I did not work for a family owned business. Looking back at it, I didn't even comprehend that it was theft, but now I'm like, okay, jail time. I knew I shouldn't have been doing what I was doing, but I wanted the cash and I got away with it. So I didn't think of it as a crime. I don't really regret it. My excuse is now that these were grown men knowing what they were doing, asking a 15 year old to commit theft. Honestly, they thought they were playing you and you played them. So get your bag. There's quite a few confessions of abuse in here and I'm a little worried about y'all cause <laughs> are you okay? Like, do you feel safe at home? When I was a kid, I cut my own hair and I blamed it on my younger sister. Honestly, that does sound like younger sister behavior. So, do it. I joined my bullies and bullied my best friend out of school. You're fucking evil, dude. Okay, so that is all for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you like, leave a comment, and subscribe to see more of this type of content, and I will see you guys in the next video.